Hey guys, I'm Sasquatch. Are you hungry for a big old plate of Jesus Christ? Why? With a side order of Oh the Humanity? I hope so, because today's story is Bloody Mary. So this lady wanted to go to this popular brunch place. It had like drag queens and burlesque shows and stuff there. <clears throat> because apparently that's a thing that happens now. How, how does it work? Do the burlesque performers make the waffles or just dance around while you eat them? Are waffle making and burlesque performing overlapping skills? I <clears throat> Don't know, and neither did the lady, so she went to go find out. So, the lady went to the brunch place with her friend, and the dude that worked there was all, Just you know, there's a long wait for a table. We won't have a table for you for seven weeks. And the lady's friend was all, I'm not waiting seven weeks for breakfast food. I'm gonna go to McDonald's and get a McGriddle because you can buy them all day now and I want one in my mouth. And the lady was all, that's because you're a basic bitch. My mouth is too fancy for McGriddles. <clears throat> so I will wait here for my brunch table. So the lady waited and waited and waited but she starved to death waiting for a table. And now her ghost still roams the earth waiting for brunch. So if you wait until late in the dead of <clears throat> late morning or early afternoon, if you stand in front of a mirror and say, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, who ordered this Bloody Mary? The lady's ghost will appear in the mirror and she'll say, Dude, it's about time. What's a lady gotta do to get her day drank on? And if you bring the ghost a Bloody Mary or a bottomless mimosa, the ghost will reward you by putting it on her Instagram and will tell you future prophecies about the revival of will and grace. But if you do not bring her a boozy treat, the ghost will be furious and will haunt you forever with a bad Yelp review. The moral of the story is McGriddles are delicious and I want one in my mouth. The end.